Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Small Wheeled Pedal Machines, A Better Way of Cycling. What I want to do in today's video is talk about some of the technical advantages of using small wheels on a bike. After all, you can talk about how they ride really well and they're nimble and they're quick, but what are the specific technical advantages? Well, there are about five that I want to cover. The first one is very practical. There is more space available above the front and rear wheels. Now, because the wheels are smaller in diameter, and yet the wheelbase is much the same as a conventional bike, you can put loads above the front and rear wheels that are about double the size of a conventional large wheeled bike. So if you imagine a traditional basket hanging on the front of a normal bike, it can only be about that depth. Because otherwise, it's going to be hitting the wheel, or it's going to be above the handlebars. But on a small wheeled bike, it can be about double the depth. Same width, same length, but double the depth. So you can carry twice as much on the front of a small wheeled bike, typically, than you can on a large wheeled bike. The same at the back. The carrier is relatively much lower than the seat, and so there's plenty of room. So practically, the carrying capacity of a small wheeled bike, without having to go really wide and panniers and things like that, is much, much bigger. Second advantage of a small wheeled bike. Because the wheels are smaller, it is easier to incorporate suspension in a small wheeled bike. There's more room for suspension linkages, there's more room for springs, there's more room for dampers within the structure of the bike. And that's an advantage for another reason, and it's important, because small wheeled bikes without suspension do have a disadvantage, and that is they tend to have a harder ride. So the fact you can incorporate suspension more easily is rather good, it works out rather well. Small wheeled bikes are also more compact, and that is when you're storing a bike, even a small wheeled bike that doesn't fold or doesn't disassemble, it takes up physically a lot less room. About that much less room, in fact, when you start doing some measurements and compare it with a large wheeled bike. Small wheeled bikes tend to have lighter wheels. Why is that an advantage? Well, obviously the lighter the bike is, the better it often is in terms of the amount of energy you need to put in to ride it, but a smaller diameter wheel also spins up more quickly and slows down more quickly. In other words, it takes less energy to spin it up, has less rotational inertia, and it will also be able to be braked better. Another advantage of small wheeled bikes, less wind resistance. You have less frontal area on the wheel and the spokes, because they're shorter, aren't basically pushing into as much air as they are if they're a much, much longer spoke. Finally, a smaller wheeled bike, by definition, has smaller diameter wheels, and especially if you're using hub gearing, the traditional Sturmey Archer style gearing, it means there's a lot less torque loads on the hub. You can read all about this, the advantages of small wheeled bikes, in my book, Small Wheeled Pedal Machines, A Better Way of Cycling, and I recommend it to you. Thank you.